Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, you take the log on both sides. As this here, we have log 4 raised to power x equals to log 60 from here. The next step here, we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to power p, the same thing as p log m. That is here we have x log 4 equals to log 60 here. That is next step here we divide both side by log 4. Divide this side by log 4. Also divide this side by log 4. That is here log 4 cancelled each other. And we have x equals to log 60 over log 4. The next step here, we can rewrite 60 as 4 times 15, which implies what we have becomes x equals to log 4 times 15 over log 4. That is, yeah, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a, times b this same thing as log a plus log b that is here what we have becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 15 over log 4 then we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 4 plus log 15 over log 4. That is here, we have log 4 cancelled each other, one left here, which implies x equals to 1 plus log 15 over log 4. Then, Next step here, also 15 can be written as 3 times 5. But this here we have x equals to 1 plus log 3 times 5 over log 4. Then this also follows the law of logarithm. That is, when we have log a times b, which is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is here we have x equals to 1 plus log 3 plus log 5 over log 4. Then here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 1 plus log 3 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4. That is also here we can express 4 as 2 times 2 which is 2 square. Then what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 3 over log 2 squared plus log 5 over log 2 squared. That is here we apply the power of logarithm 2 comes here and also here and we have x equals to 1 plus log 3 over 2 log 2 plus log 5 over 2 log 2 which also can be written as x equals to 1 plus 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2 plus also 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 2. Then, next step here, we apply change of base when we have log A over log B. This is the same thing as log A to base B. 
So this here we have x equals to 1 plus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2. Then we bring this together as one fraction. This is 1 over 1, and we have x equals to the SCMA. That's 2. And this here we have 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2. Yeah, that is the value of x here we have 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute. The value of x here which is x equals to 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2 then what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 60 on this side that this here you can write 4 as 2 square which is raised to power 2 plus log 3 is 2 plus log 5 is 2 all over 2 is this equals to 60 on this side that this here this power multiplies 2 here cancel each other we have 2 raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2. This is equal to 60 on this side. Then here, yeah, this follows the law of indices. What we have a raised to power m plus m. Put the same thing as a raised to power m and a raised to power m. At this here, we have 2 square and 2 raised to power log. 3 base 2 times 2 base to power log 5 base 2 this is equal to 60 on this side. Now this 2 square here that's 4 then times if following we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equal to b at this here we have 3 then times 5 this is equal to 60 from here. And 4 times 3, 12. 20 times 5, that's 60, which is equal to 60 from here. Left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 2. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video with your thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.